Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for Naked Trader. A little bit later, it's been a hectic day today. Um, how do we start? Market was under a lot of pressure last night. We saw us after the month end uh, trade yesterday, we saw some pretty good profit taking out of the Far East. Stocks in the Far East recovered. I think that prompted a lot of the uh, treasury selling that we saw. Market was under pressure into this morning, and then we saw some pretty strong economic data here out of the states, and the market got hit hard. Went down to that 118.13 level that we had highlighted yesterday and in the email as a previous low that was a very good support level. I actually thought we were going to take it out and didn't cover everything, unfortunately. But uh, after that, the market just started grinding higher, and the steady drumbeat of headlines out of the Middle East and North Africa just kept the market uh, bid throughout the day. Um, a little bit of a surprise from Chairman Bernanke too. It didn't sound like he was pushing for QE3. It actually sounded like he was backing away from his uh, sort of strident support for QE a little bit. We'll, we'll argue that point back and forth as the uh, economists and the uh, people that read between his lines are able to sort out his commentary from today and from tomorrow. But the headlines, the global risks are uh, what are driving the markets now. Crude oil's up three bucks. Stocks are down. S&Ps are down 22 handles right now. Um, gold's up quite a bit. Silver's up quite a bit. I think gold and silver are actually close to making new highs if they haven't already. And uh, that's the driving force here. Bonds and notes have closed on their highs. Um, 119.05.06 right on the... Uh, Highs from yesterday, basically. The high yesterday was 119.09. I think that will be seen probably this evening as this sort of drumbeat of uh, global tensions continues. I want to highlight a couple points up above us here. 119.11 is a 79% retracement. It also would be a minor new high. Keep an eye on that. If we get a quick reversal off of there, that could prompt uh, a little bit further selling, and maybe we'll get back down that at 118.5 area that provided such good support. I'm um, not looking for that yet. I think the market is uh, probably going to work its way higher here. Um, a lot of data this week, unemployment number Friday, even though the market's seeming to look, start to look a little bit for a stronger employment situation this month than previously. I don't think that's what's uh, driving the market here. Keep an eye on the headlines. That's all i got to do. Um, I want to highlight some previous highs here that on the June contract and the tenure, 120.01, plus is the high from last month where the market broke down from before we made the new lows at 116.03. That's a previous fourth wave high and that's often a very important target slash resistance level in Elliott Wave, Elliott wave analysis. Um, we saw the market and the bonds actually test that level last night. That was one of the reasons I thought the sell-off would be a little bit more vigorous today on the downside because the bonds reached that previous high that correlates with 120.01 in the 10-year and then reversed. Now we're working our way back up to it, even though the bonds are lagging a little bit behind the 10-year here, the short end is probably stronger because of this flight to quality situation, but it looks like we can even do a little bit better on the bond here. Give it, give the upside benefit of the doubt, at least a little bit here. On your toes for quick reversals, um, take profits on new highs, I think, is uh, what I'm trying to say here. Uh, again, a lot of you know warning signs. So open interest fell the last two days with the market making new highs. That's not a real bullish sign, but you know the markets will do what the markets will do. We'll see you tomorrow morning in the email. Have a great night.